You don't see many patterns where it calls for a cable cast on, but when you do, it's kind of an important part of the pattern. It leaves you with a not very stretchy cast on. It kind of has a pretty edge to it, and I think that's probably why designers call for it. Um, let me show you how it goes. You start with a slip knot, and you can put the slip knot pretty close to the end of the yarn. There we go. Okay. I work a knit stitch, twist it around, and put it on the left needle, sliding it off the right. So now we have two stitches on the left needle. I put my needle in between those two stitches. I come in from the bottom here between the two stitches, wrap it and pull it through, twist it around and up onto the left needle. That's the cable cast on. Between the two stitches, wrap it and pull it through. And here's a hint, pull it through pretty big, put it on the left needle and then tighten it up. You put it through the last two stitches and up on the left needle. And that's it. It's not the fastest cast on in the world, but it does, like I said, leave an interesting edge. Not that we'll see it in this much work. The cable cast on.